Hey. What's up? We should schedule a Zoom meeting. Sounds good. When are you free? Let me check. When were you thinking? This week or the next? This week's good for me. How about you? I could this Friday at 10 a.m. If not next week, either Tuesday or Thursday? Next Tuesday sounds good. What time? Cool. Either 11 a.m. or 3 p.m. works for me. Awesome. Let's do Tuesday at 3. Cool. See you then. Nice. Wait. I just realized we're in different time zones. <sighs> never mind. See you never. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that little intro. I believe that really captures the struggle that we, a lot of us have on like scheduling video calls. I believe it's really annoying to have to always go back and forth and be like, hey, are you available on Wednesday? No, I'm on Thursday. Hey, we have different time zones, <laughs> you know? So today I want to share with you an application that solves that is the one that I use. So actually first let me show you and then we'll talk more about it. But like, this is what it looks like. So the concept is that I can send someone this link and this is like a whole calendar where they can book a specific date on my calendar. So these are all the days that I'm available, the ones in, in bluish, and they can select whichever day is convenient for them. And from there, they can even select a time, right? So for instance, that time, it just says select to continue. And we're going to click on select right here. And now from there, it's just going to ask what is your name and what is your email? Then let me just put something in here. There we go. We got a meeting with Wolfgang. <laughs> this is, uh, of course, from his side. So Wolfgang just decided to book a slot in my calendar. So now he can confirm and be like, awesome. There you go. Confirm. And now that is going to add Wolfgang, <laughs> I love his name, uh, to the attendees of this meeting. And it's going to confirm that that is the date and time for the meeting. And that automatically appears in my calendar hero, which is the application that I'm using. And it just shows me what is the, the name of the person that was invited and their email, as well as the date and time when the meeting takes place and all the information that I need and everything calculated from their time zone and my time zone. So as you can imagine, I use this all the time because that way, you know, particularly me living in Ecuador, South America, usually my time zone is different to the people that I talk to on, you know, sometimes I do consultations or I just talk to a lot of people online and I just do video calls and our time zones tend to be different. So trying to go back and forth, trying to decide a time zone that, that you know, is working for both of us and also making sure that is the correct calculation of the time zone is really stressful. So this solves it fully. Now, before we dig a bit deeper, I want to show you why I love this. I integrated with Zoom and with Google Calendar. And to me, that is such an amazing workflow. So before we get into that, I do want to say that I reached out to the people in Calendar Hero, the creators of this app. They were super responsive. They were super nice. I said I would love to make a video for them. And in exchange, they actually gave me the pro plan of this. So, you know, I'm a bit biased because they did help me, but I also reached out to them because I wanted to make this video. So not a sponsored video necessarily, but, you know, I did want to make that clear just because I am a bit, a bit biased, but also I reached out to them. So, yeah, just wanted to say that to be clear. Uh, but with that, let me show you how things look from your, your account and where you can set things up and how things work. So let's get to that. All right, so this is the main website, calendarhero.com. And what you can do in here is, of course, read around, check out their pricing, do all that kind of good stuff. But right now, um, you know, you can create a free trial. So this is going to give you a 14 day trial. Now, the free version can be more than enough, especially if you're using it more for personal use and maybe casual meetings with friends or so on. But because I'm trying to run, you know, like I do consultations and I do all types of meetings all the time, I do find this worth it, but it's really up to you. It's really going to depend on what your goals are and what type of person are you. So yeah, do give it a try. Again, the 14 day trial, 14 day trial is pretty nice. So what you can do in there is you can start your free trial. That is going to tell you to sign up with Google. So right now I have a test account because I want to show you how things look like from scratch. So let me just show you that. So you'll get this pop-up that tells you how to get started and welcoming and so on. Now I did create a couple of events already in here, but I do want to share with you a bit more. So here, this is like the main dashboard, right? In here, you'll be able to see what are the meetings that you can schedule with other people. And there's basically two ways in which you can schedule a meeting. Now, if you see in here, for instance, these ones are the ones that come uh, already set up. Of course, anti test this one that I did, but meeting and call, they come by default and it gives you a link. So you can copy the link or you can schedule meeting. Now a scheduled meeting is going to, uh, you know, like if you already know the email of the person, you can just send them 
you can schedule a meeting and actually send them an email. If you click in there, it will tell you like who do you want to invite, and then you can put a bit more details on availability and so on. But actually, the way that I prefer doing things is just copying the link because that way they see it straight away. So let me just copy this link, for example. And now if I open that in a private window, just because we want to see how it looks for the other person. Now, this is what things will look like by default. Now, you might notice it looks slightly different. My uh, The previous example that I showed you that was with my, my actual account, but I couldn't show you everything there because it has some emails and sensitive information from other people. They don't want to show that. Uh, but yeah, the other version, I have a bit of a calendar and then the times to the side opposed to this where you have all the dates and then the times and the button. I mean, it's really just a matter of layout, it's still the same functionality, but you can customize that, which I really like. It's really up to your preference. So from here, same logic, you know, anyone can just like go to any point and then just select a specific time, right? And now when they do, that is gonna show in here. In, for instance, I have a couple of tomorrow meetings with Marcus Aurelius and Picasso. So yeah, that's good to know. So the cool thing is that it's very intuitive, like you can just figure it out just by playing with it. But I do want to share with you one of my favorite features, which is the Zoom integration that it has, right? Because that makes everything so much more convenient. This already integrates very nicely with Google Calendar. So let me show you that. Um, but first, it's important to see that you can actually, how you can actually integrate with other applications, which is a really cool feature. So let's go here to our Calendar Hero. And if you go to My Integrations on the left sidebar, you can just click in there you can go to video conferencing right here. And as you can see, your Google is already going to be integrated because that's how you sign up. Meaning that if you want to do a video call through Google, you can already do that. That's already integrated. But if you want to use something like Zoom, you can add integration. And now what's really cool is that there's tons of integrations. You'll see right here is loading and yeah, tons of stuff. So you can integrate it with all of these applications. And, you know, particularly if you run a business by yourself or you're working a team and you have like all these systems with other applications, it's very useful to know that there's actually quite a few integrations, maybe with a CRM or, you know, like even with a Slack or some other things like that, especially if you work in a team, some of them might be really useful. But the one that I use is Zoom. From here, when you add it, it's just going to take you to Zoom where you can log in. And once you log in, it's going to be integrated. Let me skip through the steps because, you know, reasons. So cool. Yeah, I mean, I already set up that Zoom integration. So now let me show you in here in this main dashboard, which is where you go when you click on the calendar hero logo, it just takes you here. And now if we go to view all meetings, you're going to have a list view of all the ones. Some of them were done by default. You can always edit them and change your availability, which is going to help you schedule things faster with people and so on, right? But now, if for instance, you do um, a new meeting, which is what I tend to do for, you know, different types of businesses or different types of availability that I want to customize for someone in particular, you know, like for instance, say I want to have a call with, I don't know, um, <laughs> Picasso, right? And I just want to say like, hey, for you, I'm only available from this week or from this day to this day, you know, like I like customizing that a bit more because then I can expect when I plan to have a certain meeting with someone rather than just give them an open calendar for absolutely everything. So yeah, let me show you how this works. So now when you create a new meeting, you have a couple of options. You can do a meeting calendar availability is used for scheduling or a group class with a preset time, right? Group class can be useful for certain situations, but I end up using meeting most of the times. So let's create that. And now let's just do a test in here. Cool. So now in here, we need to name a meeting type. Let me just fill this up with some stuff just like that. And then you can even generate a custom, um, you know, link. And then from there, you can check, check out the availability, which is a really, really useful feature. That's where you're going to be able to set the schedule, set when you want to have this specific call with this person. So let me show you in here is already going to say, you know, link to your particular calendar is using the calendar that of the email that I use. And then you can have things such as like, what is the duration that you want to have? For instance, one hour 30, we can do one hour 45, whatever we want. And then in here, display in increments of, you can have 60 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. So this is just gonna be like, do you want people to see, um, you know, like a schedule a meeting with me at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Or do you want them to see like 1 p.m., 1.30, 2 to 30, so on, you get the idea. So you get to decide that as well, which is very nice. Now in here, for instance, I have an example of, um, you know, nine to five, nine to five, nine to five, and say Thursdays, 
I only want to be available until, I don't know, like a bit earlier, like 11 a.m. I only want to work in the morning of that day. You can do that. Now here, you'll be able to see, for instance, custom dates is what I have right now. But you could also have like maybe the next, I don't, I don't know, this month, the next three months, whatever. Like in here, I just have custom dates from like, you know, from here till there, like quite a, quite a bit. You can decide. Let's say I only want to have it till... Maybe, you know, like November 3rd is a lot. So let's just do a bit less. November 17. <laughs> there we go. So now lead time is very important because this one is actually going to say how far in advance do you want to know that this person scheduled a call with you? You know, do you want them to give them access to schedule a call with you in like the next three hours? Like, do you want to just see something pop up in your calendar so that you have a call all of a sudden in three hours? If you're prepared for that, go ahead. But personally, I like, you know, having a, a two day, two day in like lead time. Meeting limits, you know, maybe I want to have like for this particular type of um, event, I only want to have one meeting per day. Um, schedule, you can schedule over internal meetings. This is for conflicts with your calendar. Before event, this one is useful. I tend to have something like two hours, like you can see in here, you can change it. This one helps you know that, for instance, say you want to have like several calls in one day. Now you can put a bit of buffer time so that one call doesn't go straight up to the other, but rather you have a bit of buffer time in between to prepare for the next call, to go get lunch, to whatever. So yeah, I tend to put something like two hours just to be safe. And then you can put other things. Here's the really cool stuff that I want to show you. So location and conferencing, this one's really cool. As you can see, I already have it set up with Zoom. By default, it's with none so that, you know, the, the person expects you to give them more instructions later. But you can rather create this dynamic integration with either Google or Zoom. You can integrate with more services. But as you saw, we already integrated it with Zoom. So with Zoom, um, I'll show you. I'll actually show you how that looks because it's really, really cool. It generates a link. Yeah, you'll see. It'll make sense in a second, okay? So <laughs> from there, you can also have the, the experience. Like, do you want them to receive the calendar in their own language, if they have their browser set to a different language, or do you want them to always see it in English? It's really up to you. Now here you can have a description of what do you want them to, you know, any instructions or anything and more information. You can allow um, invitees to, to invite additional guests. I'd rather have this off. I'd rather control who is coming into my meeting. You know, I'm in charge, <laughs> but it's really up to you. I mean, there might be cases where you might find this useful because by default, that thing is checked. I just unchecked it. Now from there, you can also, you know, this one you can send them to your website after they already booked a calendar or, you know, a slot in your calendar. This can be useful again if you're running a business and you're trying to, you know, make a bit of a sales funnel for people, improving the experience a bit. So you can always do that if you want to. And then from there, again, this is a bit more of a professional feature. If you want to add this calendar to your website, this is amazing. If you're doing consultations and you want to give people a nice experience where they can actually book the calendar in your website. So that could be cool. And then we also have collect payments, which again, a bit more of a professional feature that can be really cool if you want to charge for consultations or any sort of service that you might provide in this way. Right. And there you go. Right. Then you can save it. And this will take you to all of your meetings. So as you can see in here, Santi test, that is one that we just created. And, you know, depending on all the things that we just set up, people can book a meeting with us. So now let me actually show you again, like what is one of my favorite features about the calendar hero. And that is how it integrates with Zoom. So now let me show you what that looks after someone has booked a meeting, after we've done this setup and everything is set up with Zoom as well. So that is gonna integrate with Google Calendar very nicely. So let me give you an example right here, okay? So we have our Santi test in here. And what we want to do is we're gonna copy this link. I'm gonna open it in a private window just so that we get to see things from the other side. How would someone look at this? And you know, in here, for instance, we have the different months and the different times and now let me just keep ahead to a month that I am, you know, that I know I don't have anything in my calendar so that I can show you my calendar without any worries. Now, this is someone that is going to say like, OK, I mean, I am free at this time, whatever, like that. Now they're going to put their name. So this person is Nikola Tesla and they decided to schedule a meeting at that specific time. Now, here we can see that the attendees are Nikola Tesla and myself. And this is a specific time. Now, let me show you how that looks in my calendar because it's really, really cool, right? 
All right, so now here's my calendar. I skipped ahead to November where I don't have that many things planned. And now we can see that we have a test call with Nikola Tesla right here. And now what's really cool about this whole thing is that here's a Zoom link, right? So this Zoom link on the day of the meeting, the person will just click on the link or I will click on the link and I'll be able to join the meeting because Calendar Hero automatically generated that. There's also a password if needed for that. Don't even try it because I'll delete this event by the time you watch this, so don't even try to join the meeting. <laughs> but either way, so what's really cool again is that this integrates automatically and Calendar Hero did all the, all the work in here. Like this was synced to my calendar automatically. And what's really cool as well is that it will send an invitation to that person's calendar. So it'll be like, hey, do you want to join? Do you want to add this event to your calendar? And it will also generate the Zoom link for them or it will send a link to them with the link. Uh, to the Zoom call, right? Or this can also work with Google video calls directly, right? So yeah, there you go. You go back to your calendar hero and there you'll be able to see any meetings that you have coming up on this sidebar or you can even go to the calendar through here or by going to the sidebar with calendar and here you can see all the meetings that you have coming up, right? If we skip really ahead, we can see, well, all the stuff that we got. Let me skip ahead a bit more. <laughs> There we go. Here we have a couple of ones. I have one with Nikola Tesla and I also scheduled one with Marcus Aurelius. If I want to modify anything, I can go to tasks, go to upcoming. And here I can be like, hey, sorry, Nikola Tesla, can we reschedule our call? And, you know, then they'll have a notification in their email being like, hey, you, you have to, you know, reschedule uh, the call because that's what I requested. And there you go. You know, you have tons of really cool features, tons of really cool integrations. So I hope you enjoyed this. I think it's a really cool tool. And, you know, I'm really happy to make more videos about it if you're interested on maybe more specific things about it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to show you absolutely everything because, you know, like, again, like I have my personal calendar and, you know, I can't show you every person's email, but like I use this all the time. I use this every single day and it's just like super super good and it just saves tons of time you know like even with friends you know even if you're not going to use this professional professionally i have a friend that lives in the uk i live here in south america in ecuador and like finding a time especially for the time zone is really complicated so you know sending him a link was the easiest thing i could do and it just made everyone's life better so yeah you know that's it i really hope you enjoyed this video i think it's a really cool tool and yeah there you go Hope you enjoyed it. I'm a bit delirious because I recorded this video like five times, to be honest. But either way, <laughs> that's not for you to worry about. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a labor of love. Enough about that. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. And hope you enjoyed this tool, Calendar Hero. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye.